So what did you think of Good Vito at the Arnold Classic in South America? Honestly, bro, I, I was I was truly really... What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back, and we have a bodybuilding news video, but we also have an exclusive interview with Martin Fitzwater. This is only eight hours or so out from that 2024 Detroit Pro. The interview was a little bit ago, about two days ago, so make sure you check that out. You guys will really enjoy it. He gives his full opinion on Good Vito, but first, let's get to those latest updates from Good Vito, under 24 hours out of that 2024 Detroit Pro, looking really down damn impressive and it sets up for a really good battle between he, Martin Fitzwater, and also we'll be waiting to see if Justin Rodriguez is improved compared to that 2024 Arnold Classic he competed at recently under his new coach, Jacob Jacoby. But guys, let me know your predictions and who you think will win that 2024 Detroit Pro because we've got the latest updates here as well from Martin Fitzwater, who we're going to have an interview with in just a moment, looking pretty damn ridiculous. 12 hours out in this photo from that 2024 Detroit Pro and all the other photos you're seeing as well are recent updates from Martin Fitzwater. So like I said, I think it'll be a very, very competitive top three or top two and it's going to be exciting. And I think even after pre-judging, we may not know who's going to win that 2024 Detroit Pro. Also, I will be going live for this contest as well. So make sure you subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding and click the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified when I go live for pre-judging and the finals of the 2024 Detroit Pro. And like I said, check out the pay-per-view and let me know your predictions in the comments below. But here's that short interview with Martin Fitzwater where he gives his honest opinion on good veto. Because he's got a show, obviously he's returned to the stage first time in like 18 months, dude. So it's been a while. And we were saying sort of before the show, it's like it's sort of lost on people, but it's been 18 months and 18 months of improvements. And I'll share your latest on the screen in just a moment as well. But dude, what mindset are you in and how are things going three days out of a Detroit pro where there is more money on the line this time as well than, you know, ever before. Yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, man, I'm just cool, calm and collected. This is probably the best I've felt before a show since I won my pro card. Um, it's just something that I feel very confident in. I know Brett and I put in the work in the gym and trained our butts off and said and called the shots on paper and, it's all come together just about as beautifully as it could, man. I, uh, we landed the plane nicely. You know, I, I packed everything up from Texas and moved out to Florida to be the bread and make sure that I could be as, as good as I could be. So, um, I think we've done that. And like I was telling you guys, these are like, this was just, I think 14 days out, 15 days out pictures. And those are like, like 17 or 18 days out, you know, so I'm giving you guys some teasers, but I promise you what's to come is, uh, is pretty nasty and pretty peeled. So it'll be the best conditioning I've put on stage. I'll be somewhere between seven to 10 pounds heavier than I was at the Arnold UK and five to eight pounds heavier than I was at Texas probably. Um, and, uh, it, it's just all come together, man. I, I feel like we filled in a lot of the points and gaps that I needed to. Arms and chest are much improved from what they were. And uh, it's just been fun, man. This this prep has literally been just a fun ride of just watching everything come together. And, dude, the, the thing that I really noticed about this as well is this was your least conditioned looking pose on stage the last time you competed, I'd say, probably. And like just, I'd say overall, and this here, if this is from 18 days or whatever out from the contest, that's very encouraging because you're white as a ghost and you can see, you know, you can see lines in a bicep there, you know, you can see other stuff that you weren't seeing before. And if you know bodybuilding, you look at your legs here and see how they're sort of like really cut in and how it's like the skin's yeah. wrapped on the muscle. It's exciting, man. I don't want to be like talk you up too much before the show, you know, because that's sometimes like a bit of a curse because <laughs> then yes. people are, get their hopes up and they're like, Martin's going to be yeah. top three in the Olympia worthy. And you, you never know. Yeah. But it's, um, it's, I'm very, very encouraged by all your updates, man. And uh, for people that know bodybuilding and can sort of decipher the, the fake updates from the real updates, I think that people can tell this is the real stuff. So it's, uh, it's cool to say. Yeah. You can watch my story, right? Yes. It, it, click on it. I, I, I put a, that, 
there's a video of me posing just after defeating today that that uh, you can really see that things yeah, are getting can... nasty. Uh, and I haven't fed up for a few for a while, so it will be fun to see what the food does and, and what we can get done here. So Stefan was. Uh, he said that it was absolutely perfect post training and was excited to see what food it did. And uh, as soon as I saw my video, he called me. So <laughs> if that tells you anything, it was pretty <laughs> decent. So um, it's been fun, man. It's exciting. Like I said, it's just, uh, it's all coming together. It's been too long away from stage. I really miss it. And I'm, I'm very excited to be back on stage and doing my thing again. Good now. How much weight um, have you put on from 18 months ago? So I think somewhere, I'll be somewhere between like 7 to 10 pounds heavier on stage than I was. So I was like, I was two, like 238 or 237 for Texas. And I was like 234 for the Arnold UK. Um, and I'll be somewhere around like the 240, 242 mark, somewhere in there. Insane. And probably like this will be your best condition, yeah? Oh, yeah. This will be probably like three three to five pounds better condition than I've ever been in too, for sure. And the maturity is there. You know, we could – one thing about taking 18 months off was I held on to the tissue for a really long amount of time to where we weren't scared to dig into it when we dieted here at the end, you know. Mm. I wasn't – scared anything was going to disappear or anything I, I held on to it for a long time and i stayed really strong for 18 months and just continued to stack days together man so it was it, like i said it was it was needed it was what i had to do um but i definitely am excited to get back on stage mm. right. even before even before we started the pod you, you seem more like relaxed like centered is it just because you're confident in the way you look or yeah, man, all of it, bro. Just life is good right now. Life has just come together, you know. I, uh, like I said, I, I moved from Texas. Make sure I was out with Brett. Um, he's probably the best thing for my mental headspace. Um, and I just, I got the best group of people around me right now, man. All my people are very confident and breathe confidence into me and believe in me, and and I'm excited, bro. And I, I truly believe in Stefan. I know he's he's one of the best people out there and um i trust him with everything that i am and i also got brett you know so i don't have a worry in the world i just let my boys take care of me and i just get to sit back and do the fun part i love that man and that was two of the questions i had written down as well it was it was brett and stefan so obviously stefan being a new coach like you prepped actually under you know quite a few good people and you've had the experience with you know branch and everyone else that you've sort of has helped you along the way, but it's it's cool that you're working now with Stefan, who obviously works with Nathan Diasha, works with Wesley Vissers, has a great track record. So that's got to instill some confidence in you as well, having you know someone that's doing really well with a good group of clients right now. Yeah, man. I mean, both that and just he's he's so smart, man. Um, you know, you guys know I've coached myself a lot and and been around and doing this a long time, and I've seen the greats do it, and it, it's just it's cool to watch him do his thing, man. Like w w the things that we're controlling this peak week that I've never controlled before. And, um, you know, just variables that I would never played with before. So this will be really cool to see what, what we get done with him, you know? So like, I never, um, I've always like kind of kept sodium consistent or something, but like I, it's straight tracked. I know exactly how much sodium I've had to the gram today. Um, and I'll know that for the next few days. And, uh, you know, obviously we track water too and, and all those things, but it's just, it's, it's going to be interesting to see, man. It's completely different peak peaking process so far. Uh, we pulled my protein down a lot and just letting the carbs do their thing and, and just watching my body change and, and watching it all happen. And like I said, I truly just believe in him and trust him. And that's the, probably the easiest part is to just give the reins over and just have fun. Beautiful. Man, well, let's look I want to launch into, I suppose, what's going down with the Detroit Pro because we've got 25,000 for first place, which I'm sure you're looking at and being like, hell yeah. And then you've got 10 grand for second, which is great as well because last year that was first place for most pro shows. 
Uh, and then you've got these other awards as well. So, you, which I actually actually think is really, really cool what he's done to commemorate yeah. and pay tribute to, you know, obviously people that who had knows that he's lost in his life and also that bodybuilding has lost with Luke Sando. I believe Luke Sando, what's the award for him? Is it, I've got to remember them. I Most muscular. Most yeah. muscular. And then you've got the the conditioning award is for John Poser. Meadows award. And then best poser is Cedric yeah. McMillan. So I wanted to yeah. say shout out as well, because that's two and a half grand extra for each award. So yeah. Martin, firstly, how's your posing routine? Do you think it's, <laughs> it's a chance of winning it? And I do, man. I think it'll be really cool. It displays the, the classic side of my physique well. And I think it will be a, a fun, you know, different than most people's. Uh, so I do think that I have a chance at that. And I definitely think that I got a shot at that John Meadows Award. Um, most conditioned, yeah. I'll make sure. That, so um, it'll be cool, man. I, I really, like, I loved all three of those people. Luke, Luke is probably one of my favorite physiques um, before I got into the sport of guys, you know, that I didn't get to meet and didn't get to shake their hands. So um, he's one of my favorites for sure. And then I loved Cedric, man. He was, uh, he's near and dear to my heart for sure. We did the, my first couple pro shows together and stuff. And he was always so cool backstage and stuff, man. So those guys, and then obviously, you know, with Meadows and, and everything he did for Brett and Ivana and taking care of them and, and being around and then just him in general in the sport, you know, I've always looked up to him, but it, it'll be really cool. Um, I, I love that quad did that, man. It, it, it's a big deal for sure. Yeah, for sure. And, and, and you know, some people love Fuad, some people don't like Fuad, but regardless, he's doing good things. This show is, gr is great that he's doing. And the thing is, you know, he's going to look after the athletes. You, he's putting on these, these great awards to commemorate these lost people. He's, you know, he's really has shown up with this show and for bodybuilding and he's got, the most successful podcast in bodybuilding. So he's, he's, he's doing a lot realistically. You can't say no, he's not. So huge, huge shout out to him, man. Um, not only just putting on this badass production and everything that he's doing, but like from the second that I've said that I was going to do the show, um, he's like, what do you need and, and how can we help? And, um, you know, this last week was like, do you need picked up from the airport? Do you need anything when you're here? You know, like he's been awesome, man. Like, as an athlete to a promoter, like jam up job, you killed it, Fuad. And uh, there's not a lot of people doing it like you are, man. So keep doing what you're doing, and it, it'll it'll shine through. I promise. The Tony Doty sure. approach, hey Jimmy. Yeah, and that's the way to do it. If it's built, even though there's only six guys doing it this year, if the shows run amazing, uh, Martin we'll speaking about back. the way he's treated. Um, that everyone is going to come back. Plus, yeah. you know, like plus the extra prize money, the extra little awards. You know, it's if they do do it again, which they more than probably will, hopefully. Um, I reckon next year will be a massive show. Mm. Yes, I think. Well, so Fuad said he's doing it again. So, and he said he he did say as well. He said he said, oh shit. He said if we need to give away fifty grand next year, then we might have to do that. And I'm like, everyone say you're not doing it next year. And then just say, I mean, if there's more prize money. <laughs> well, the, first, the first Australian show that Tony did, Dave, that wasn't a big show. No. But the no. way that the, all the guys were treated, they went back to the States and just raved about it. And then it was gangbusters ever since, up until um, COVID pretty much. Yeah, exactly, yeah. COVID was the thing that killed it. I don't want to say that word too much. I'm excited to see the, um, I'm excited to see the lighting. Because they've been going on about the lighting a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm, and all I keep picturing is like that old Iron Man yeah. pro show lighting. No, it's going like, to be pretty dope, man. From the sounds of it, it's going to be really cool. Yeah. And, the and if you're an athlete, you want, you want good lighting as an athlete because you want those photos and those pictures, man. That's all, you know. Uh, yeah. I paid Gilko a lot of money. He better. Oh, Gilko's there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gilko's there? Be, those videos will be dope, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Makes my content so much better. So thank you, Gilco. I put his link in like every video I put up where I use one of his videos and yeah. say like video courtesy oh, of yeah. because man, I, I I always, yeah, I always give him credit because it's literally changed the way we view bodybuilding and it changes oh, you know, the history, you know? But, no, his his stuff is dope, man. I, I, what he's doing for bodybuilding is next level. Like yeah. I remember yeah. the first show he did was the Chicago with Brett when Brett did his debut. 
and dude, it was so sick. Like those videos were crazy at first when we hadn't seen <laughs> anything like that. It was dope. Yeah. Dude, I thought it was a drone. So I actually shared that. This is the first ever interaction I had with Brett. So I shared that and I was like a drone at a bodybuilding contest and it got like a few, you know, I don't know how many views it got, but it, um, I think he commented it or someone commented and said, dude, it's not a drone. I'm like, no, he's on, yeah, work, it's on the but it'd be some, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it looked so yeah. cool. I was like, that's, that's, it that's was, awesome. Dude, it was dope. No, that was cool. That was a dope show too. Brett almost got Hunter and stuff, man. That was sick. That was fun. Yeah, that was cool. That was, Brett, that's where Brett really like made his mark and it's, um, it's, yeah. it's funny that Brett really made his mark there and you really made your mark getting second as well. But to Andrew Jack, yep. it's like he was yep. to Hunter, you were to Andrew Jack and Hunter and Andrew Jack almost have their own rivalry as well. Which is <laughs> right. like, yeah. It's quite funny about that. <laughs> but, real, um, but dude, I have to ask you one more question because I'd be remiss <laughs> if I didn't ask. So good veto is everyone saying it's you two top two. Some people saying Justin could be in there as well. And obviously Ron Gordon brings a bit of size, yeah. but they're the main two guys, you and Good Vito, that everyone's focusing on. And I think mm-hmm. that maybe I saw a poll and you were the favorite, according to the fans, by it wasn't yeah. huge, but it was, you know, maybe 10%, 8%, something like that. So what did you think of Good Vito at the Arnold Classic in South America? Honestly, bro, I, I was I was truly impressed. Um he was one of the guys out of that lineup that impressed me the most, probably. Um, we just didn't know what to expect, man. It's been a long time since he's been on stage. When he was an amateur and won his pro card, his back wasn't great. Um, and we saw a lot of huge improvements. Peeled, good can like you know, I think he could make some adjustments with posing and stuff in between here, and he's gonna be dangerous, man. I'm gonna have to bump elbows with this guy and and I'm gonna have to earn the win for sure. There's no doubt about it. He's a good bodybuilder. Don't bump him as hard as Raf and Tony ever. <laughs> yeah no let's not do that I, I, i've already been yelled at for bumping elbows i won't do that <laughs> man um so you're gonna beat him uh, hey i'm coming for the win man that's all there is to it i'm not go. i'm not out to beat anybody i'm out to show the best physique and hope the judges see that as well there you go. that that, yeah, that is the change martin Fitzwater. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. I'm, I'm very confident what I'm bringing to this yeah. stage, man. I think everybody will be excited to see it, and hopefully, it, it brings what uh what I hope it will, which is a W for sure, bro. I'll make sure I get this part up of uh Bodybuilding University now. Put it on the main channel, but everyone who's watching this on the main channel, head over to the Bodybuilding uh, Desktop Bodybuilding Podcast and Interviews channel. But Martin, thank you so much for coming on, my man. I really appreciate you doing this three days out, and do best of luck from all of us. We'll be cheering you on, but I'll be trying to stay uh, as unbiased as possible <laughs> in all my streams and stuff like that. But thank you, you so much, chance. my man. All right, boys. Thank, thank you. We'll talk soon. Peace. Good luck, brother. See ya.